welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a Will I Buy It video. You guys know these are my favorite videos to film. I did zoom you guys out quite a bit so you can see my huge mess in the background, but I thought that would add some interesting things for you guys to look at while we talk about new makeup releases. So I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I'm gonna scooch over. I did uh, pick up a fake plant from Target um, just to add some greenery into my background. I really wanna change my background. I just haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. So we'll see what I come up with, but this is my vanity. This is where I do my makeup. As you can see, there's a huge disaster behind me because I did do my makeup this morning. I am filming after work because I wanna get this video up for you guys. And so if I look a little like, <sighs> don't mind that. On my eyes are some of the new e.l.f. Bite Size Quads. I do wanna go ahead and review those as well. So. Look forward to that video, enough jibber jabber. Let's get into it. The first thing I see is a new Rowan Beauty quad. Now, the only reason I know what Rowan Beauty is is because Hannah Louise Poston like raves about their shadows. And this is a beautiful quad. It's very like rose gold themed and it's gorgeous. I can totally see Hannah rocking these shades. I don't really need a quad right now for $42, so. I'm not gonna get it, but it's very, very beautiful. The next thing on here is the new NARS collection, the bronzing collection. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really excited about this. I used to love NARS Casino Bronzer. I've panned it actually multiple times, which is pretty shocking when you think of how much makeup I own. So I'm really, really excited to see some new shades from NARS as far as bronzers go. And yeah, I don't know what else to say except I'm really excited for some new NARS bronzers. So KKW Beauty The Body Collection is now available at Ulta. And I don't know why, but this kind of made me crack up a little bit considering like the time we're in. And I'm just like, uh, why would anybody need the body collection? Like body makeup? I don't know. It just... <sighs> It kind of felt like a little bit tone deaf to have like body makeup, but you know, maybe maybe people still need that stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, next is a new product from Too Faced. They're launching a Primed and Poreless Invisible Texture Smooth Smoother Face Powder and a Primer. I am not really looking for a powder or a primer. I don't know. I haven't really... I don't know. I don't have anything interesting to say about that launch. Okay, so Summer Fridays is coming out with a lip butter balm and this will be available March 30th and I tried their jet lag mask. That's what it's called. I had to think about it. Oh my gosh. I remember all the beauty gurus were like pimping it out when it first came out and I don't really hear as many people talk about it now but the hype is still there, I feel like, for those products. And I didn't really think it was that hydrating, to be honest. So I did end up decluttering it. Um, so you guys will have to tell me if you are a fan of Summer Fridays. Personally, I just feel like it's a little bit overpriced for what it is. The next thing that's available is Drunk Elephant's new hair care line. It says skincare to hair care, body care. So they have a body lotion, a cream body cleanser, and then they have like a scalp scrub and some shampoos and stuff like that. Um, decent price point, but I think I heard these bottles are kind of small. Um, I don't really need any hair care products currently, so I will be passing on that for now. Too Faced came out with some more new products. They launched the Diamond Light Diamond Fire Bronzer. I kind of love this. I think it would be a beautiful blush. I definitely have orange blushes in my collection, so I don't feel the need to purchase it, but I can see a lot of like dark skin or tan skin people really being into that. And then they launch more shades of their Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick, which I haven't really heard anybody rave about recently, so easy pass for me. And then MAC came out with the Powder Kiss lip color 
as well as a Powder Kiss Soft Matte Eyeshadow. I feel like they're kind of trying to market this as the popsicle lip and like a popsicle watercolor kind of eye look. I personally can't imagine doing like a light wash of color on my eyes. You guys know this is like for me like really natural and toned down makeup. So I can't imagine ever just doing like a one shadow eye look unless I was like in a severe hurry to get somewhere. Maybe life progresses and like we have kids and stuff like that. Maybe the you know priorities will shift around but for right now I can't imagine needing something like this. The lip products look beautiful but I just have like a million lip products so not planning on picking any of that up. And then Kevin Aquan came out with a new foundation. It's called the Strip Nude Skin Tint Sheer to Light Coverage Foundation infused with skincare benefits. Blurs imperfection for a natural even finish. The weightless silky texture is infused with butter bush flower extract to help protect against free radicals caused by blue light formulated with hyaluronic acid. 10 shades, $42 each. I feel like they have some nice tones here. 10 shades is pretty minimal, but I don't know. I don't really feel very drawn to it, so it's an easy skip for me. The next thing, this is so funny because I totally bought these because of the packaging um, because I just thought they were so cute. So Makeup Revolution launched some new eyeshadow palettes. They're actually quads and the blue and green one like really really got me and then they were having a two, uh, a three for two sale so you bought three but you only paid for two so for, uh, for 30 bucks I got three of the quads so look forward to a video on that because I'm excited to see if they're any good or not. They also launched a sculpting bronzer as well as like a powder I think. I almost picked up the bronzer but I am obsessed with my Samantha March bronzer. I've been using the bronzer as well as the blush like pretty much every day. The bronzer duo in River is so perfect for my skin. I never think like should I buy a backup and I'm like oh I should definitely get another one of that and like Karen calm down like you don't need to buy a backup of a brand new bronzer you just tried so i'm really loving her bronzer the next thing is a new product from becca this is the ignite liquefied light highlighters and there are some beautiful shades i just i know becca is known for the glow i feel like this is just like a little too late for them because they should have like done the liquid highlighter thing like fast 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 you know uh but maybe it'll be good it's 38 dollars too that's a little bit pricey for some liquid highlighters at this moment in time for me so i am passing on that this is kind of piquing my interest but i don't think i'll get it because i have the pat mcgrath lip balms but huda is coming out with the diamond hydrating lip balms they have a diamond like sparkle and a mix of rich emollients including mango seed butter to soften lips leaving them pillow like and supple $25 each this packaging of course I'm sure will reel everyone in because it's stunning but I am gonna say no for now I have a ton of lip balm so Lime Crime launched a new lipstick it's called the Lip Pops it's a satin lipstick and it looks like they're some um, like really bold shades. There's also one called Lime Street, which is like a green. I dabble in green sometimes, but I could not imagine a um, green satin lipstick that color, but I think it's really, really cool. They have some fun, fun summery shades, but definitely not on the market for something like that at this moment in time. Tom Ford is launching four new illuminating face and eye palettes and I know I think Mel Thompson was like really excited for these I think she mentioned them in a video I personally have tried the Tom Ford eyeshadow formula and I wasn't really that excited about it I didn't think it was worth the 80 bucks so I definitely did end up taking those back and I don't feel guilty about it so don't try to come for me in the comments <laughs> um, the next collection is the new Dior summer colorful collection it was created for the Summer Olympic Games, which sadly have been postponed. But yeah, it's cute. 
I love like the colors and the pastels and the nail polishes and stuff like that but it's something I'm gonna run after and she also posted um, Guerlain is coming out with some new rouge lipsticks um, definitely not something I'm into and then Sicily's new lip products in two different finishes which I don't even want to imagine how expensive those are so easy pass for me Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the new Nude Stick Sun NC palette. It's a seven piece kit for $75. It comes with some eye colors as well as a face bronzer and there's a limited edition blue pouch. I like the idea of Nude Sticks, but I cannot imagine spending $75 for a bunch of crayons. So. It's an easy pass for me. So next is the solo look. They are partnering with the show Charmed and they're coming out with a new eyeshadow palette on March 28th. And honestly, I wasn't really big on Charmed and these shades definitely look like the Juvia's Place. Is it the Masquerade palette? Like that green, that blue, the purple. I've seen those shades already in palettes and it's an easy pass for me since I'm not into that particular TV show. So I started talking about Samantha March's stuff and then I totally blanked on the fact that I hadn't talked about it in a Will I Buy It video. But in case you guys didn't know, my friend here on YouTube, Samantha March launched a collab, her second collab with Ofer Cosmetics and she launched this beautiful lip color this bronzer, blush, and they re-released her highlighter collab from the first round as well as a lip gloss and I did a video with it, the whole collection. I was sent it in PR and I couldn't be happier. It's so good. The blush and bronzer are definitely tan girl friendly. This lip shade is definitely tan girl friendly. So if you are on the market for a bronzer or a blush or an everyday liquid lipstick shade, you should definitely check it out. The highlighter is a little icy for my taste, but I know so many people that love to wear it and the lip gloss is more of like a topper, less like a gloss, so just keep those things in mind, but I think she did an amazing job and I was so honored to be included in that PR to be very honest with you guys, because that kind of stuff does not happen to me very often. I guess I I've, I've already have it, so <laughs> but I just wanted to mention it in case you guys had not seen that news. So the next thing is a collaboration with Morphe and a singer named Sauti, so sweetie? I don't know, you guys, I'm getting old. I'm like irrelevant at this point. So <laughs> they're launching a eyeshadow palette, some lip balms, or lip glosses, a mini setting spray, and a brush collection. I love the pink and orange like packaging. It's very eye-catching. They really did a good job with that. This palette honestly reminds me of their, what is the palette called? Hit the Lights palette that I got from their holiday collection. It just looks like a smaller version of it, so I have really no interest in picking it up. The next thing I'm seeing is the Fenty Beauty Kanye Candy, what is this, a luminizer and a, like a highlighter. And personally, I don't plan on picking this up, but I do like that they came out with something that's very like tan and deep, deep skin tone friendly. Um, and I think that was really cool that Rihanna added something like that to her lineup. And then here's something I low-key really, really want. This is the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes eyeshadow palette for $40. And then they also launched some lipsticks for $18 and a Diamond Glow Powder for $27. So it looks really, I don't know, it's like very neutral, but it's so beautiful. And like that one gold shade is just so beautiful that I like low-key want it. So I could definitely see myself getting it. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in like a review. I, okay, random side note also, my March has been like a total fail for my low buy, no buy. I just went like buck wild with my eyeshadow palette purchases. 
but I'm trying not to lose hope and I'm gonna start back up in April. I think I'm gonna try and do a no buy. You guys, I like cringe when I say these things because if I screw up like I don't want to feel like super duper guilty but I'm gonna attempt not to buy anything in April just because I have so much stuff that I still need to like film and bring you guys content and I don't know just like I just want to try. I feel like at this point the way like this whole like you know Voldemort thing <laughs> He who must not be named. So that's what Angelica calls it. Angelica Oaks. I don't know. That one drama, the one drama channel I really enjoy watching. She's so sassy. I love her. But she calls the um, Voldemort because you're not really supposed to talk about it on YouTube. So yeah, since the whole Voldemort thing is happening, I kind of want to try and be like less savage. And I don't know. Just, you know, be happy with what I have. And a lot of you guys have requested content with what I have. So that's what I'm going to try and do. So that's a little mini update on how things are going in March and what to look forward to in April. So Trend Mood also posted these new Origins Blooming Shine Lip Glaze. Like, I don't know, lip oils, I guess. And... They honestly look like concealers to me. I don't know why. Just because they posted like the really light shades first. I was like, oh, is that concealer? And then I realized it was like a lip oil. I feel like every brand has done some version of this at this point. So I'm not really interested in that. So there are some new spa tools available from Sephora collection. And these all look very, um, I don't know kind of like some in my opinion <laughs> but I do have like my eye on the skincare fridge I don't really need a skincare fridge but like all these like bougie booty gurus have them so I'm like do I need a skincare fridge but most likely I'm gonna pass on it so new Milan and Colourpop collection I think I touched on this maybe in my last will I buy it video I can't remember but I honestly, mm, it's cute. I really want to try ColourPop's new shimmer formula. I think I've heard from a few different places now that the shimmer formula has been amped up. So I was like, ooh, is this the one? And mm, I mean, it's cute, but I still feel like it's so similar to stuff they've done before. I feel like I have red shades in my So Jaded palette, so I can skip. And so I am going to skip on that whole collection. Um, let me know if you guys picked it up though. I'm curious because I know there's a lot of Milan fans out there. So Beauty Blender came out with a new collection. The colors. Colors the Rosy Posy Blender Essential. $45 for three beauty blenders and a solid cleanser. I feel like the price point is nice but... I just love my Shop Missé sponges, so I have no plans on picking any of that up. And then Good Molecules came out with a new product, the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. And this sounds really cool. It is already available. So if you want to try it, I know Tatcha makes a rice enzyme powder or something like that. I actually have it. I don't really enjoy using it. I think this one is better just because it's like a bottle so you could like pour it into your hand. The Tatcha one is like in almost like a tub and then you have to like scoop it out which just seems so high maintenance for me. I know Angie has it and loves it but I barely use mine because I feel like it's just so much work and I'm so lazy to use things like that. So the next thing, this is so funny because I actually bought it and I have it. And I've had it for like two days and I keep forgetting to use it. So this is the Matchstick in Pearl from Fenty Beauty. And honestly, it's like, it looks clear on my hand. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, there's like a slight shimmer on it. I just thought this would be so fun to like soup, 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 you know, for work and stuff. So I really want to use it, but apparently I just keep forgetting to use it. It has a fragrance to it. Smells like, I don't know, cookies. <laughs> but yeah, I did buy that matchstick. I don't own any other 
matchsticks from Penty, so I'm very curious to try that formula on foundation because I just, you know, forget about it. Then every time I remember, I already have like powder products on, so it makes me nervous to try and put it on, but we'll see, we'll see. The next thing that I've already purchased, and you guys have probably already seen a video on this, but I thought I should talk about it, is the new Melt Rust Eyeshadow Palette. And they also came out with the gel liner in Burnished, which is a red-brown. And then they also like relaunched two existing matte lipsticks, 1969 and Mural. Um, the eyeshadow palette is okay. I tried it out just one time so far and I wasn't like crazy about it. So I haven't really reached back for it. But yeah, it's okay. I don't know that I would say like run out and buy it, but... I don't know, I don't really have too much good stuff to say about it. The next product that I low-key want, but I really need to stick to my no-buy on this one, the Sol de Janeiro is coming out with like a new perfume, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna smell like the Bum Bum Cream. So just imagine having that as a as a, like a fragrance instead of having to buy the Bum Bum Cream, because I know a lot of people just buy it because it smells so good. So maybe if I pan a few of my perfumes I can allow myself to get it but for right now I just have to admire it from a distance. The next thing that launched last week, this is so cute, this is the Pastel Pop Palette from Menagerie Cosmetics and it's cute. I have so many pastel palettes. I recently filmed a video called Pretty Palettes for Spring or something like that and I ended up featuring quite a few pastel palettes in that video. I do want to rank my pastel palettes and Menagerie did say they were going to send me this palette, so I don't know if I'm going to get it sooner rather than later. I know the situation with Voldemort is changing constantly, so I don't know if they have enough stock. I mean, if they sold out, I would assume that they would send it to customers before they sent it to people on their PR list. So I don't know if I'll get it, but, uh, um, you know, if you guys got it, let me know if you're enjoying it. I, I don't think it's shipped yet, but... Let me know if you guys got it, I guess. I'm so curious to hear. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. If I get it, I get it. If I don't get it, maybe I'll buy it down the line. But let me know if you guys would like to see a video where I rank my pastel palettes. I think that might be a fun one to film. And then Sugar Pill came out with their C2, which is the Capsule Collection 2nd Edition. I believe this is a Sugar Pill and Alta exclusive. I think this palette is really cute. I just don't feel the need to purchase it. I can admire it from a distance and yeah, I don't know. It's cute. I don't know what else to say. So Fresh, which is one of my favorite lip brands, they came out with some new lip balms. So I have a bunch of their lip balms. I have the coconut, the lime, I have a little tub of the caramel. So I really like these lip balms and they came out with a, what is it called? A lime mint. I want to try lime mint so bad. It's beautiful because I love green and I like that lip balm. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I want it, but I'm not going to buy it because I'm trying to be good. So I'm going to pass on that. And then ColourPop did also come out with a collection called Making Mauves, which is a beautiful mauve themed collection. This is like a little bit darker than the blush type shades that they came out with. And I think it's beautiful. I was definitely tempted, but I quickly moved on from it. It's so funny because this palette kind of reminds me of the In Bloom palette by Tarte. And I remember owning that palette. That was one of my favorite palettes when I originally got it. And to think now that people don't even like look at that palette the same way anymore because of cool brands like ColourPop, you know, you're not just limited to something like Tarte, which is sometimes so tone deaf because I feel like they really don't have a really wide range. A lot of their palettes are very medium. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's really cool that ColourPop is doing so much. And to imagine that there was a time without ColourPop where we had to like slum it with brands like Tarte, you know what I mean? So this is another palette I really, 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 really want. This is the Viseart Petite Pro Chow Chow or Cho Chu or I don't know how to say it, but it looks so beautiful and I low-key really wanted, but I was trying to like restrain myself and so I pulled out my 
Huda palettes, my Huda neon palettes, and I played with them and I didn't really love it. So I'm like, okay, like, what makes you think a Viseart palette is gonna make you any happier than having this Huda palette, you know? Because I don't really love Viseart's shimmer formula, so I'm just like admiring the color story and I'm gonna try and like dupe it if I really crave it, but I don't really wanna buy it, so I'm gonna try not to. Fenty Beauty, I'm just waiting for this blush collection to drop, oh my goodness. So beautiful, and it's on Sephora, so you can like bookmark it, but it's not out yet, and I don't know if if it'll come out anytime soon, so we'll have to wait and see. And then Anastasia launched a volumizing mascara called the Lash Brag, and I don't know, it's beautiful. A lot of people said the packaging looks like Fenty, so they got like shit for that, and honestly, whatever, you know, if you're gonna get mad about that, I don't... <laughs> There's bigger problems in the world currently. So anyway, um, it's nice, you know, if somebody were to give it to me, maybe I'd want to try it. But mascaras are definitely on my, like, no-buy list right now because I have so many backups of mascara in my mascara drawer. So one of my, like, goals for 2020 is to, like, go through my stash and pan some mascara, man. So Charlotte Tilbury's new collection is so cute. I don't need any of it because like these quads are like 50 something bucks so like no but they just the way they're like aesthetically like grouped together and that one picture of the four palettes next to each other with the matching pencils just like screams like Karen buy me buy me you know but I'm staying strong I don't need it. I have one Charlotte Til no, I have two Charlotte Tilbury palettes. One is a quad and one's a palette, and I love that palette, and I don't use it, so why would I buy more things to try from her that I don't need that's way overpriced? So, passing on it, but it's so cute, and I've seen so many of my influencer friends get it in PR and stuff, and I'm just like <gasps> salivating just a little bit, but I won't do it. I refuse to give that lady my money, so. Moving on from that. Okay, the next thing, this is so funny. This is the new Classic 2 collection by KKW Beauty. So for the longest time, I feel like I was definitely drinking like the KKW Kool-Aid. I have almost all of her 10 pan palettes. And then I bought the Artist and the Muse palette and it, I did not like it. And so now I'm like completely sworn off of KKW Beauty, at least for this year. She's on my brands I won't buy from this year. And honestly, like, this palette is not letting... Like, there's nothing here that's, like, I'm desiring t that I need to, like, break that rule to buy this. It's very basic, and I feel like neutrals are definitely having a comeback. Like, you know, for a while it was, like, it's, it was, like, neutral in all the mainstreams, and now, like, everyone's done a green palette. And I feel like, you know, the... Purples and okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the new Dyson hair straightener and I don't know my hairstylist mentioned that this has been getting good reviews and now I kind of want it but it's like $499 so I'm not gonna buy it but it looks like it works I don't know <laughs> I do have the buttercup or something the dry bar hair straightener that has worked really well for me for a long time and my friends have purchased it because they have seen me use it and they seem to really like it too. So I'm going to stick to my non $500 hair straightener for now. And then next, Jue came out with some new stuff. I did talk about this, I think, previously. But it's actually available now. And I'm not going to lie, that like orange blush shade definitely calls to me. But I'm going to stay strong and pass on it. Okay, so I heard a lot of people talking about this in their Will I Buy it videos. And it's the Patrick Ta... Major Brow Tint Shaping Wax for brows, and it comes in two shades, translucent and tinted. I saw Trend Mood went to like an event with that product, and it looked like so much freaking work. I was like, oh, bish, no. Like, what? No, that's so much work. Like, you have to like warm up the product, and like the whole like lamination technique looked like so much work. I was like, mm mm. Mm -mm. So I don't think I would get that unless like people try it and say it's super super easy to use. Next is a new collection from Tarte. It is the Maracuja collection. Includes some um, tinted hydrating, 
tinted moisture something something lip products in 20 shades. There's a Maracuja Miracle Mist Setting Spray which claims to continuously spray and then it helps your makeup set for 12 hours. I think somebody commented about how it just like stays in place and doesn't like melt out. I don't know. I don't know. I could never see myself buying something like that from Tarte and then some lip oils as well. So let me know your thoughts, I guess, if that was something you were interested in. I am so wanting to place an order with Persona Cosmetics for these blushes. They look so beautiful. Georgia and Caramel are two beautiful, beautiful shades. I just feel like these would look so good on my skin tone. I'm, does that make me sound conceited? I'm sorry if it does, but I just love those two tones. So they're $22 each, and as tempted as I am, I'm going to pass. I've been contemplating an order with Salt New York. I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand, but it is an indie brand started by a YouTuber, and I had some time this week, and I actually watched some video reviews, and they just seem like really cool cream products. So they're having like a sale right now, and I'm thinking I might pick some um, little products up from them. And then the Pillow Talk collection, they added two beauty light wands in Pillow Talk Original and Pillow Talk Medium. I'm happy that Charlotte Tilbury is finally doing some like deeper shades for darker skin tones. I know I tried her original Pillow Talk collection and most of the products were not very flattering on my skin tone. In fact, I recently decluttered like the blushes and stuff I have from Charlotte Tilbury on Poshmark because I wasn't getting any use out of them. I even tried to save them. I don't know if you guys have seen my blush declutter video, but in my declutter, I did pull some products aside to try one more time, like a purgatory, like Hannah Louise Poston would say, and I ended up just decluttering them because every time I tried them, I didn't like the shades. They just looked like nothing on my skin tone. So huge pass on that. And then Tarte came out with another collection. This was really funny, guys. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys a story. Tell me if you can relate to this or not. So there are some bloggers I follow that are fashion bloggers, not beauty bloggers. And I get such a kick out of watching fashion bloggers review makeup because they, I mean, they are beautiful women. Don't get me wrong. Stunning, 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 you know, perfect bodies. Like, they're gorgeous, right? But they, like, it's so funny because they have, like, this perfected makeup routine. And then when I try to, when I see some of them using, like, products that were sent to them. And it's like, ooh, like, I saw somebody use this bronzer. <laughs> and it was, like, a cream bronzer. And it looks so blotchy. And she's so beautiful. It was not her fault. But the product looks so blotchy on her face. And I'm like, ooh, that did not, like... You did not just convince me to buy that product. Actually, you made me very skeptical. And she was like, oh, and it's so nice. And da, da, da. I'm like, girl, you got sent that product for free. Like, no, like it's it was breaking up on her face. It just she had not applied it well. And then she was like trying to pimp out the brush. And like, I was just like, oh, God. So, yeah, no, mm -mm. I'm going to I'd rather buy salt New York screen products. So we're going to pass on that. And then ColourPop, because they love to make money, came out with these really cute sponges. And I don't know, it's so funny because you know it's really good marketing that they put it in a set and they're all pastels and it looks like little Easter eggs. And I know, I know you guys were like, oh my god, it's so cute. So yeah, it is cute. I think it's cute, but I still am die hard for my Shop Miss A sponges. So if you guys want to check out a really good sponge, that's a dollar. It's the Pow Pow Sponge by Shop Masse. Here's another palette I low-key want. This is the Sigma Corda Rosa palette. I don't know. This picture Trend Mood has is not the greatest picture, but I saw a picture that somebody posted and the textures of the eyeshadows just look stunning. And I was like, <gasps> and yeah, so I'm like, I kept asking like Amy and Angie, I'm like, do you guys think you'll get this in PR? Because I really want to see you guys like review it. So I'll have to keep my eye out. If you guys see any videos on that palette, let me know because I'm curious. Sigma does like some cute stuff. I just, I'm never like, I don't know. I just never want to shell out the cash, but it does look like a cool palette in my opinion. So we'll see what happens. 
And then I just really quick want to see what's going on in the indie arena. Let's see what indie makeup spotlights got going on. My friend Amy's Instagram account. So it looks like Davina did stock their really cute little empty palettes. It's the six pan palette. I know Angie had her eye on those because she thought it would be like a really nice way to like curate some smaller eyeshadows, their single eyeshadows. So that was a cool idea. And then I did end up buying these, I forgot, but Adept Cosmetics did a big restock on their website and they also came out with some new shades. So somehow, I don't know exactly how, but somehow I ended up spending $50 on eyeshadows on Adept's website, but I love her mattes and her shimmers. So I cannot wait to get those in the mail. And then Give Me Glow came out with this new shade called Emerald City. And it's gorgeous. And I've literally added it to my cart twice. I want to buy it. But it's like 7 bucks in eyeshadow. And then it's like $5 shipping. And I'm like, do I really want to spend like almost like... Because I was going to get two of the eyeshadows. So it was 20 bucks for two eyeshadows. I'm like, I bought palettes for less money than that this this time around you know like with drugstore and stuff I just got this little cute guy in like how cute is this oh it just launched at Ulta and Angie reviewed it so now I'm like oh it's so cute I got the mama and the baby oh <laughs> what's wrong with me guys I don't know so anyway I really want this green shade it looks so beautiful but I pulled out my give me glow palette and I think I have it right here yeah, I pulled out my Give Me Glow palette. I'm like, Karen, look at this palette. And how many times have you used this palette? And I was like, not very many times. And I have like a beautiful purple here from JD Glow. And I'm like, you do not need one more shade from Give Me Glow. Just stop it. So I did stop myself. You guys should be very proud of me. And then I did pick this up too. See, I've been like shopping like crazy. I don't know what's going on. Terra Moon launched their pastel mattes and their pastel chameleons and you guys know I was so here for their pastel chameleons because I love their chameleon collection so I picked that up as soon as it launched. I was so excited so I'm so so glad I have those coming to me. I'm not sure when they'll ship out but I will patiently wait for her shadows because they are like one of my favorite formulas of course so guys I think that is it for my indie things that I kind of have my eye on I did film a indie wish list video so products from indie brands that I have my eye on so look forward to that it'll be coming up soon and I'll talk more about some new indie releases in that video but that is it for my Will I Buy it video today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are staying safe and stay indoors. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next one soon. Bye!